Hi everyone, welcome to I Just React and Review. My name is Ashmita, and I hope you all are doing well. And yes, finally doing another classic Malayalam film review. Today it's Mani Chitratar. I have been wanting to watch this film for quite some time now, especially after I did the song reaction of this film, Or Murai Vanta. And of course, I should give this disclaimer out that while watching this film, I saw it as an independent entity and not compare it with Bhul Bhulaiya because this movie was released in 1993 and Bhul Bhulaiya released. in 2007 plus mani chitratar is culturally more rooted while bhul bhulaiya's intent was to deliver a movie for the masses so yeah with that out of the way i will be sharing now my thoughts on this film and yes there will be spoilers this was my first time watching a fasil directed film so i was really really excited and the star cast of this film is amazing Mohan Lal, Suresh Gopi, Shobhana, Neeru Madi Venu, Innocent, etc., all just bring amazing performances to the screen. The story is set up in a village, Manapalli, where a couple, Ganga and Nakulan, they return back to Nakulan's maternal ancestral home. They both decide to settle in there, much to the disapproval of Nakulan's uncle Thumpi, who insists that the mansion is haunted. Other family members also discourage the couple from residing there, emphasizing the fact that a gruesome murder and suicide happened in the same mansion 150 years ago but nakulan brushes it off as simply a scary folklore but as the time passes strange supernatural occurrences starts happening inside the mansion and the family starts believing that one of the female members shri devi she is being possessed by the spirit of nagavali nagavali being the person who had committed suicide 150 years back inside that mansion the actual chaos begins when mohan lal's character dr sunny enters the picture to look into the matter and cure shri devi the film is a combination of many things like horror elements drama comedy shedding light on psychological disorders and what can actually trigger them in a person for me there were certain elements that i could completely connect to and some that i couldn't connect to at all so where i felt disconnected was the comedy part of the film and that has nothing to do with the movie itself it is basically to do with me having this language barrier and because of the subtitles the way i could connect with the comedy scenes of films say like chitram or mahi chinte pratikaram i couldn't really connect in this film because i think it has to do a lot with it being a subtle comedy much more rooted to the culture and not really being situational comedy i definitely laughed at the situational comedy scenes for this movie as well for example at the scene where dr sunny's character gets introduced and uh, all the family members are coming one by one and eyeing him weirdly and he's also looking at them and trying to figure out who the patient is i think that sequence was really funny also a scene where he is telling this character not to step on water so he keeps saying water 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 i think that scene was hilarious so yeah for me those funny moments were just few coming to the other aspects like the drama the horror element that was done really well and it kept me engaged to the film considering it is a 1993 film the horror elements didn't scare me as much because of course the sound design at that point of time was not that crisp and precise but i really liked how they used the overall sounds and the cinematography they really did their best to make the supernatural presence feel especially in that old room the last one hour of this film is where everything comes into fruition and it is my favorite part of the film the climax particularly for me was the best cinematic moment with shobhana transforming herself into nagavali the dance sequence and when she finally seeks her revenge the most accurate way that i can say what i felt while watching this movie is a roller coaster ride because initially when you sit on a roller coaster ride it goes up very slowly and steadily and the pace is very very steady and then it reaches the peak and stops for a second and then bam you are thrown into complete chaos and there is this huge adrenaline rush that you feel this is exactly this is exactly how i felt while watching this entire movie coming to the songs they are amazing specifically the title track that is the solo song shot with lalita i actually liked it more than oru murai vanta even though the latter is more cinematic has next level choreography and acting but as a song the title track just completely touched my heart and connected more with me the writing and direction both are done well though for me there is still a doubt remaining 
if Nagavali was actually a real spirit or not. As per Dr. Sunny Ganga was never possessed by Nagavali's spirit, but she was actually suffering from dissociative personality disorder. But there is a scene with Nakulan and Ganga, uh, they are interrogating the maids and uh, you know, things are falling, things are breaking down and there are supernatural elements that are happening in that scene. So Ganga couldn't have caused this. So my doubt was that, how did that happen? Who caused that? So that was never addressed in the film or maybe I missed something and you guys can clarify that in the comments below. Now, of course, we have to talk about the performances. It is power packed, but this clearly is Shobhana's film through and through for me. She is the soul of the film for me. Her acting is incredible. It's top notch. And especially when she transforms herself into Nagavali, it's just mesmerizing to watch. Suresh Gopi and Nakulan was also amazing. This was my first time watching his film and there was a restrained charm in his performance that I appreciated a lot. His friendship and chemistry with Mohan Lal was one of the highlights for me. And the evergreen Lalita, I must say, he really has amazing comic timing. It made me realize how good, how good he is in doing this subtle kind of comedy. But whatever it is, my heart totally belongs to Shobhana for this movie. So yes, those were my thoughts on the 1993 classic Malayalam film Mani Chitritar. You can watch this movie on Hotstar with subtitles and I'm really happy that I'm finally getting into the classic movies and I'll watch more of them along with the newer releases that are happening. So yeah, that was it guys. I will be signing off now. I definitely want to read your thoughts in the comments down below. So do share and yes, that's it from me right now. I will be seeing you soon on my next video. Bye-bye.